was driving home one evening. It was misty, it was rainy, it was twilight, it was getting dark. She was in a section of town she really didn't like to drive through. And her car stopped. She began to beat her steering wheel. She was so angry at herself. She knew she was low on gas. She had determined to get gas. She had forgotten to get gas, and there she was. She looked around, there were warehouses and chain link fences, and uh, it, was, it was a place she didn't want to be. So, oh, it's dark. Is there a, maybe a fast food place, maybe a drugstore? Nothing. Hardly any light. She said, well, sooner or later, a police car will come along. I hope that. And she began to pray that God would help her. And she sat there. And then her worst fears were realized. She saw coming down the middle of the street a burly man headed right toward the car. She thought, oh, no, dear God, take care of me, dear God. She said, maybe if I'll slump down in my seat, he won't, he won't see me. So she just sat there. But he came to the window, looked in and began to tap on the window, told her to roll the window down. She said, go away, go away. He was saying something, but she couldn't hear what he was saying because she was screaming so loudly. She figured, well, if I blow my horn, maybe he'll go away. And so she began to blow the horn as loud as she could. She blew it and blew it and blew it and screamed. After a while, he turned and walked away. She was frightened, trembling. She said, thank you, Lord. But then after a while, her worst, worst fears were confirmed. She saw him coming back with a steel bar. And he walked up to the car and shouted something again. She screamed and blew the horn. He took that bar and broke the window, reached in and unlocked the door. She crouched back to the other side, but he reached in and took her by the arm and began to pull her out of the car. She took her foot and kicked him right in the face and bloodied his nose, but he kept pulling and he pulled her out of the car and released her. She drew back, not knowing what to do, getting ready to fight when she heard the noise. She saw the light. The ground beneath her began to tremble and she looked up and saw that train coming furiously, headed right toward her car. And it hit her car and pulled it right on down the tracks. A total wreck. The man that she was so afraid of was the one who had saved her life. She had run out of gasoline on the tracks. You know, so many times we look at things and we think these things are the most terrible thing that have, has ever happened to us. I hope you never have to go through an experience like Jennifer Johnson went through, but sometimes you cannot tell what is happening by outward appearance. And so the storms of life that come to you may be the things that God is bringing to you to deliver you and, and to help you and to cause you to rise higher. And so, listen, when we wait upon the Lord, when we wait upon the Lord, we're going to be able to fly. We're going to be able to fly in the rigors of life. But not only are we able to fly in the rigors of life, we're going to be able to run in the rush of life.